Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Server Play. I've uh, been doing quite a fair bit of mining, and I have come to the conclusion uh, that I am ready to try for some automated mining. Uh, I think we're doing good enough uh, with our RF production uh, that we can handle it. And I think what I would like to do is I want to try to get into the builder. Uh, it's a pretty handy block from RF Tools uh, that lets us do all kinds of stuff. And one of the things that I can have it do is mine for me. Uh, so I think uh, we're going to start getting that done. Hopefully I've... Uh, and I don't. I have no bricks. Uh, so let's see if we've got some clay. Ooh, I think we're going to have just enough. But I think I need 32 bits of clay uh, to make that happen. And uh, I think you're seeing one of the reasons uh, right now why I'd like to get into this guy. Did I upgrade you? I have not upgraded you yet. Let's run down here and use one of the... Uh, I've also been kind of uh, redoing how I manage the ores. Uh, I've done a lot of mining in the deep dark now. Uh, I've probably, well, maybe not a lot, but I, I've uh, mined for a total of maybe six to eight hours. And uh, our ore situation uh, is incredible. Uh, we've got quite a few ores, and many ores, I should say, uh, of the same kind. Uh, let's start getting you crushed up. I've got a feeling that we're going to want some lapis pretty soon for some things, stuff and things. Get this in my handy dandy super, uh, look at that, that's nice. This guy I've upgraded quite a bit. Uh, we've, we've got some serious augmentation going on in him. While that clay's cooking up, uh, we'll get this sagged up. And I also wanted to uh, work a little bit more on our deep resonance uh, honestly this is uh, more of a challenge uh, than I thought it would be uh, really uh, I've got 31% going on in there I did finally get this all moved up and I think I'm gonna try one more uh, little sneaky thing uh, with this guy too. Uh, let's see if I've got my uh, thing handy here Let's see if we can get another tank. But I've got a sneaky idea here. Just want a regular tank for now, sir. Thank you. I think, uh, let's get a purifier too. One of those uh, purifier things. One of these. I think I can get another one of those. I don't know if I have a resonating machine frame. No. Let's see if we can get one of those. Nice. And another purifier. Uh, I've discovered uh, that you can actually continue to purify uh, this stuff while you're treating it. Uh, I think I'm going to need to run him a little bit of power, though. I did kind of clean this up uh, a lot. Let's see. I think I'll need my pick. I don't believe I've charged anything in a while. And we'll just kind of sneak down. Uh, under here. Oh, I've got some running under there already. So maybe it won't be as rough as I thought. Oh, yeah, that'll be pretty easy. Okay, so let's get some of our flux ducts. Oh, I'll probably need two or three of them. There we go. I did finally craft myself a dank knoll, because uh, we've gotten to the point now where I am no longer concerned with uh, collecting blocks for building purposes. Now, we should have a good supply uh, of blocks now. Uh, the dank knoll is pretty useful. I can actually use it. Uh, you can see that cobblestone floating in there. I can actually use it uh, to place cobblestone if I want to. And uh, once it fills up, it will just void... Uh, any remaining cobblestone uh, that I pick up. So it's pretty handy. There 
There we go. So you should be getting power. I may not have even needed to power him, uh, but we'll do it just in case. Uh, so I should be able to put this tank here. It's kind of what I'm thinking. And we should hopefully be able to continue purifying that stuff. And I did uh, find a pretty simple way of keeping this uh, right where we want it. Uh, it's basically a servo uh, that is set to react with a redstone signal, and I've added a liquid monitor uh, here, which I've got set to go off. Uh, if there's less than... I'll probably want to bump this up to 55%. That's what I'm thinking. No, 50. If there's 49, how about 49? That should keep it pretty steady. So if there's less than 49%, this should kick on uh, automatically. And I'm hoping I've got enough resonating ore in here now uh, that we'll be able to uh, do something nice here. And let's set you back up uh, to where you're hitting... Uh, I want to say 99% purity. And strength, we can leave it like five. And efficiency, we can leave it uh, probably five. There, and I'm probably going to want access to this guy as well. Oh, that's right, I need to charge my drill. We'll just use the pickaxe for now. Now I'm going to want him to be like 99% purity, uh, we'll say 99 strength and 99 efficiency. And apply. And this guy, I forgot, I'm going to change him. We're going to put him to maybe 84. There we go. And apply. All right, so let's pop in some of this resonating ore here, and hopefully uh, what we will see is as this lava gets used, uh, this should kick on. And so this might take a second. And so basically, maybe we'll go and check on some of the other stuff we're doing instead of just standing there watching the grass grow, right? Uh, let's see. Let's see if you... Oh, uh, we were making the builder. That's right. Let's get a builder. I could have sworn I made a machine frame. Well, we've got enough bricks. I must not have those going into a compacting drawer. There we go. Now we got some bricks, uh, so getting the builder shouldn't be a problem. Now, what I haven't decided is I think, uh, normally I would set this up in the deep dark, uh, but I'm actually not doing that bad as far as resources. So what I think I might actually do with this guy, uh, let's hit a lever also, uh, is uh, I'm thinking I may set it up here in the overworld in the hopes of finding more of the resonating crystals. I think that might be a good use of the builder here. And uh, we may uh, end up doing another builder in the uh, deep dark or uh, uh, some other. I would also like to get into some environmental tech because I think that's a thing. Pretty sure I've seen the uh... guess it helps if you can spell. Yeah, environmental tech is totally a thing in this. Cool. Uh, so hopefully at some point we'll get into some uh, void resource and void ore miners. Uh, we're also going to want some shape cards for this guy. Uh, I believe everything we do is going to need one of these. And I'm probably going to be short a brick again, of course. Now, so let's get the last little bits of clay. Clay. 
and let's get you cooked up. I've basically, uh, every card in here, I believe, is going to need the shape card pretty much uh, at some point. I mean, you know, like this one, yeah, to get to get the uh, shape card quarry, we, we need a shape card. Uh, any of these, uh, basically, at some point, you're going to need to craft a uh, shape card. And I was wondering, uh, I've never actually done it with the silk, with the clearing silk quarry. And I'd like to see what it takes to get into that. Ooh, another star. We're going to need another star for that one. Hmm. Okay, well, what about just a regular quarry? Uh, we we can't do, uh, what do you call them, uh, nether stars quite yet, uh, but it's coming. Uh, I do have a plan for that, but I need some materials first. Uh, this, I think, is doable. Is there a clearing quarry? Yeah, clearing quarry. There we go. Nice. Uh, so we just need one of these, uh, which we should be able to get this stuff. Shape card quarry. There we go. Diamond. Uh, we need the shape card itself, which hopefully we got some bricks for. Nice. I think we've got everything for that now. Yes, we do. And let's get... Uh, I like, oh, Fortune Quarry, huh? Well, that would have been nice. I, I'd like to do the Fortune Quarry, uh, but really it doesn't, ooh, Clearing Fortune Quarry, how nice. Let's try it. We need that. I think we can make that happen. I might need to run and grab. I think I might have a gas tier left. Let's see if I've got, if I've got one. Where's my... Uh, is it over here? Yeah. Ooh, I do. Nice. So the fortune quarry, I think, will be handy. Fortune quarry. Nice. And clearing fortune quarry. Doubly nice. I like it. Uh, so let's see uh, what we can do for power cells because we're going to need to power this guy. Can I make another advanced power cell is the thing. Because I'm going to want four of those. Oh, nice. I think I'm going to be able to do it. Uh, we'll need a regular power cell, which shouldn't be a problem. Just need a machine frame. Nice. And there we go. Advanced power cell. All right. Uh, so let's... I think let's head out to Kavito's area. Oh, and you know what else we're going to need? Uh, we're going to need a way to store all of this stuff. Hmm. Um, let's just try doing a drop into our old blue, blue, blue ender chest and see if our system can handle it. We may need to upgrade uh, the storage a little bit. Let's see how you're doing. Are you doing your purity thing? Hmm. I wonder if something sub maybe supposed to have power that doesn't. Because that stayed right where we wanted it to. Very interesting. 
Let's take a look at that valve. Maybe it needs power. But I did uh, rearrange some stuff. Uh, maybe I wasn't paying attention. Uh, that's, that I know that never happened, right? Uh, so let's take a look at that real quick. Let's see, I didn't think they needed power, but I could be wrong. It has happened before. They're not connecting, so I don't think they need power. Maybe I have something... Maybe it doesn't like being on top of that guy? Because the purifier should be uh, purifying stuff above and below. Where'd you go? Seriously? Well, that might have been part of the problem, too, if it was just acting like the purifier wasn't even there. Oh, you know what? I bet it got sucked up into one of my, uh, yeah. There we go. So that was a little weird. Let's try putting you up here, maybe. Because I think it can uh, also do the tank below. I mean, there's, there's definitely liquid in there. Hmm. Why you no do your job? I mean, surely it can't matter which way this thing is facing, right? Complete and total loss. Now, let's see. Did you end up in here again? Have you not made it through? Well, let's go worry about the builder uh, for now. Where'd you end up this time? There it is. Huh. This, uh, as far as I can tell, it was working just fine. Interesting. Well, let's go worry about the builder, and we will come back to that later. So let's head out. Uh, to Kibitos because uh, I like if I'm going to mine in the overworld I'd like to do it in an extreme hills biome uh, so let's head out there Kibitos base buy it once and uh, we're not going to do it right by his base I just want to be in the uh, general biome area and I know that he's in an extreme hills <laughs> Uh, and that's where I'd like to set up, so uh, let's do that. All right, so we're going to head away from where he has claimed the chunks. Because uh, these biomes are huge. I mean, there's no reason for me to set this up uh, super close to him anyway. Uh, so let's see if we can find a nice, uh, cool place for this. about right over here this looks like a good place and I'm thinking maybe right in here 
All right, so uh, what we want to do is let's get our power cell down. Oh, and you know what I forgot? Uh, we'll make a waypoint here. I forgot to make a uh, sh uh, card. Can't believe you guys let me do that again. So we'll put a waypoint there, and uh, we will charge Porter our way back home real quick. I don't suppose I have... Well, it wouldn't matter. Uh, I'm out of range here anyway, so... <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let's get our charge porter. I've got to link that card anyway, even uh, even if I could uh, get one out of this grid somehow. I still have to be able to link it. Uh, so let's see. We need one of these guys. And we'll remember to link you this time. There we go. Link to one. All right. And now we should be able to head back out to Cavitos. There we go. And there's our waypoint over there. Normally I would uh, bring a bunch of like flux ducts and, or not flux ducts, but like item ducts or some kind of way to transfer items. Uh, but since we're basically going to be doing this with a ender chest, uh, it should automatically output its stuff to the top here. Uh, so let's get our builder down. And right there is probably pretty good. And let's go ahead and get you linked up and set all those sides to out. And you're going to drain pretty quick, I would imagine. Well, that actually wasn't that bad. Not bad at all. Nice. All right. Uh, so let's get the other stuff ready. Uh, let's put the ender chest up here. Hopefully that will work the way I think it should. And let's do something crazy. Let's. I've been dying to find a good way to use this meat creeps guy. And I think he can dig all the way down to bedrock for me, so that's what I think I'm going to have him do right there. Dig straight down to bedrock if you would please. Oh, he can't find any ladders. Okay. Um. Alright then, well, uh, let's head back to the base again and maybe get a chest with some ladders. I had no idea he was going to need that. I've never used them like that before. And let's get some of this stuff uh, charged up. Where did it go? Charge porter. You need to charge. I need to charge my battery too, but I like to charge all my other stuff up. And man, that holds a lot of power, doesn't it? Alright, so uh, let's get uh, some ladders for the meat creeps. There we go. Maybe a couple of stacks of them. Maybe one more just to be on the safe side. And hopefully that'll be enough. Let's get a chest. And actually grab it good. Let's grab the charged porter. And let's leave the drill here to charge up while we go and do this. There we are. We're going to need that chest handy. There we go. And 
And let's try putting some ladders in here this time. No food for you, me creeps. All right, let's try that again. Is he going to do it? Neat. All right, so I'll be back in just a minute once he's dug all the way down to the bedroom. Oh, we are back. Uh, I decided to run back to the base real quick while uh, Me Creeps was working, and I crafted some uh, of those uh, transmitters and receivers uh, for the redstone signal. Oh, I think I went to the <laughs> I went to my base. Okay, Cavito's base this time, please. There we go. And let's head over to our builder. Uh, but I, I crafted one of those redstone transmitter and receivers because I think it might be cool uh, to be able to turn this on and off from our base as we need to. So he should be done. Uh, he should have... You no, know, it looks like we've uh, got a nice little... Uh, oh, there we go. We're back. Uh, he should be done by now. Looks like he's got a nice uh, hole dug. And he did use, he only needed a little over a stack of ladders, and that's fine. Uh, so, in order to use this, what we're going to want to do is hold the, whatever card you're using in your hand, and shift right click on the builder, and we're going to select the first corner, which as you may have guessed, is going to be down here, uh, all the way at the bedrock level. Wow, this is why I normally don't use ladders, by the way. All right, how nice. And let's, uh, there we go. Okay, so let's select our first corner, which I think will probably be here. All right, getting up is much faster since we can fly. All right, so our first corner is way down there. Uh, so let's see. That looks kind of interesting over there. I wonder if it's just not fully formed because of the way the terrain generates. Let's come over this way. And I think this will probably be a large enough area for now. Let's uh, build this up a little bit. I want to make sure if we're going to clear it, I'd like it to kind of clear everything in the general area. That looks pretty tall. I think that'll give us what we're after. And so that'll be our second corner. And now we've selected the dimensions. And we should just be able to install that guy. And if I do this, uh, it'll show us the block here. It'll show us the uh, area that we're going to clear. And I think we'll start with something like this. And before we get carried away with the uh, redstone transmitter and receiver, uh, let's make sure that this is going to work. Yeah, we're definitely getting some stuff. Um, here, let's stop you for a minute, because uh, I wanted to tell you there's some, some stuff I would like you to void, like stone, cobblestone, dirt, that, that, I don't need any of that stuff, basically. So let's put you back in and start voiding you again. There we go. See, now we're starting to get uh, a good amount of resources. All right, so let's run home. Uh, because it suddenly dawned on me that I don't think we ever put any speed upgrades in you. And we didn't. So let's get a few speed upgrades. There we go. Hopefully that won't take very long. Because uh, we've got an awful lot of stuff that comes through here. Uh, so I'm thinking maybe some speed upgrades. Uh, might be a good way to go. 
can see how close you are. And uh, maybe while those are cooking up, uh, we can run back out here uh, to the builder. Uh, because I forgot to do a very important thing. Uh, seems like I always forget something. It's like uh, Kevin may have started with uh, some Batania. And what we're going to want to do is chunk load the area that the builder itself is in. So let's do that. There we go. And that should keep the builder running uh, while we are at the base. So if we head back here now. Yes. Excellent. All right. So that is definitely working. And let's see how close you are to the speed upgrades. You're almost done. I mean, the stack upgrade is nice. It is. It truly is. Uh, but I think this will work even better if we put some speed upgrades in here. Look at that. Diamonds, emeralds. We're getting all kinds of good stuff. Resonating ores. Uh, I think this is really going to help out. There we go. I think this is really going to help out with our deep resonance. Because what I'm really hoping is that we will also get some of the crystals. Uh, eventually, that is. Uh, we may not get them right away. Oh, no. King of the misplaced blocks. I am telling you guys. There we go. So we're definitely getting the resonating ore. Uh, no crystals as of yet, though. Uh, we may need to mine in a larger area for that. So let's take another look at this deep resonance chamber before we go today. And see if this is... It's still not uh, doing anything about the purity. So... Uh, I think we've gotten enough done for today. I think we're at a good wrapping up point for the episode. Uh, I will look into why this isn't functioning properly. Uh, and uh, hopefully I'll have some answers uh, for the uh, in the next episode. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Uh, remember to leave me some comments down below. Uh, maybe you guys know why my uh, deep resonance isn't working. Uh, let me know. Uh, thanks for stopping by today, guys, and take care.